of stuck here. The cops won't bother me. I'm gonna take out the Ascot just for a short ride. It's not too terribly cold here in the DC area, but I really love this bike. It's probably one of my favorite bikes I've had. Of course, you know, it does have its little problems. Here's something I installed. It's a speedometer on the phone. Actually, I don't have a phone, which is uh, might be surprising to you guys. So I haven't ridden this in quite some time. And this one's carbureted and it's already kind of misbehaving. Look at that. Yeah, it's misbehaving. But I think it's because of the the lack of use. Here we go, 60 miles an hour. First time I've seen an accurate speedometer on this thing. This one is just so fun to ride. Issue is getting it going, but there we go. It just needed to clear off some of the gas. Yeah, I think that's the problem with the uh, carbureted bikes. If you don't use them for a little bit of time, they just don't want to ride the way you want them to. All right. Yeah, like it's lagging a bit. So when I was riding it every week, it didn't have the, any issues. Now it seems like it's lagging, but now it's clearing up. So it seems like, okay, it's just cold. It's not too terribly cold today. It's like 50 degrees in the D DMV, as the hipsters call it. So I really wanted to put this phone on here, but so I don't have like a cell service. I just have Wi-Fi because I don't really have a phone number. I use Google Hangouts and stuff. But this is good enough because every every phone, every iPod has got a GPS chip. So you can pretty much use it as a speedometer. And the issue I have on this bike is that the speedometer just doesn't uh, work past 25 miles an hour. And I wanted to see how much gas, how much range I had. You know, this bike is kind of tough to ride in the winter. It's just no wind protection whatsoever. It's just everything just hits you. Which, that's the, that's the style. You know, when you ride an adventure bike like the Super Tenre, and then you get on this and you, man, it just feels like it's not, not a bike. It feels like a moped instead. Like when did we decide that we wanted our motorcycles to be as big as cars? I mean, think about it. Motorcycles were supposed to be very efficient ways of getting you to point A to B. But then all of a sudden we started putting panniers and you know heated seats, heated vests. And I think we lost a little bit. On this little Ascar, I don't know, it just seems pretty darn durable. Look at this guy, he's like going over the, the white painted mark. That is a sure sign that somebody's like looking in their phone. Well, this Ascot rides pretty darn well. I think the only issue is that it's very cold to ride in this sort of temperature. One of the things I like to do is turn off the petcock because I don't want any gas in the car sitting for any sustained amount of uh, time. But that 18 inch wheels throughout make it very good handling. It actually helps the suspension a little bit. I still haven't gotten around to removing the spark plugs, the rear ones, because there's four spark plugs. I still haven't gotten around. Some of the things I might be doing is removing these brackets, repainting them, refinish them, remove all of this bad paint. Uh, I gotta definitely detail it, but it, it looks really good. The front brakes I also need to work on. And of course, eventually I uh, will fix the front suspension. The oil in there has got to be all gunked up. Of course, I got a new battery in here. I got this, which is, I think, not good. It's too flexible. It's got, it's got uh, enough, but because it's so close to the engine, I fear it's going to, it's supposed to be a uh, gas gas hose but it doesn't feel like it's very good the, the plastic doesn't feel like it's uh, should be used because I don't want this to spring a leak 
and remember this bike doesn't have a fuel pump so it's very simple the gas just flows directly to the carb very simple me mechanical type of thing you do have a little pocket here for your tools and your registration maybe some cash it's lockable you have the center stand kickstand shaft drive you got your helmet holder which I've never used on the bike ever I don't see too much point in it but look at this the bike is not smoking at all you know it does a little bit in the beginning and then it heats up and it stops actually I don't think uh, even starting this thing did anything and it does smell when you stand over there it does smell kind of kind of bad but that's pretty normal or something different. This is a little bit too. Yeah, this might be. Might just remove it. I don't intend on. Why is it so flexy? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's coolant coming out of the exhaust, is it? Oh, no, it's coming. It's coming out of the hose. I guess it's a white. Is, I noticed this quite a bit. Coolant coming out of my tank here. I think my fuses for the fan are good. I'll probably look at the fuses as well. If you guys have any ideas why the fan is not kicking in and the coolant is coming out, let me know. But I don't think I want to keep running it. Well, that's just a little bit of a ride on the, the Ascot. So far, this is my favorite bike I got because it's so interesting. It's such a wacky little bike. 